Hey guys, Sarah here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you something super simple and very useful. It is page numbers in Affinity Publisher. So I think we're just gonna jump right into it. So you see, I've got a whole bunch of pages here that have, well, they don't have any content on them yet, but uh, I wanna do my page numbers first. So I've got the little placeholder for my page number. I wanna put the page number right down in there in the, I guess the little egg spot. I made it look like an egg. I don't know why, but it's cute and adorable. Um, anyway, so we're going to put page numbers on each of these pages and uh, ideally we're not going to do it manually. So uh, yeah, lots of pages and I mean if you're working with a document that's significantly longer than this, you could be working with documents that are 100 plus pages and you don't really want to do those page numbers manually and there is a better way fortunately. Unfortunately I didn't know about the better way when I was first doing publishing. Uh, fortunately, I do now, so I will show you how to do this. So it is also very similar in um, Adobe InDesign, if you're curious. And basically, it just involves going to your master pages. Just open up your master pages in here. Uh, and then you click on your master page. Now, if you're unfamiliar with master pages, basically what they do is uh, they dictate what is on the rest of your document. Um, so for example, I didn't draw those little egg shapes on these pages I drew them on the master pages and you'll see wherever I move them is where they go on the rest of these pages so this is very very helpful to have master pages when you want items that are consistent on every single page so we're just gonna undo that because I liked where my little eggs were placed before beautiful and now we're gonna put in the page number and the cool thing about the page number is that it will just automatically just just get the right page number for whatever page you're on, which is, I think, very cool. So I'm going to draw just a text box and I'm just gonna draw just a letter so I can figure out first what typeface I want to use for my page numbers because that is very important. So I'm gonna go with Rockwell and let's zoom in pretty close here. Bring that up. So right now we've got Rockwell point 24, which is honestly probably a little bit big for page numbers. Um, let's go with, what should we go with? Maybe 14. This is more of like a, a, a PDF sized, uh, or not, not, a, not a page layout that's gonna be for print, but something that's probably gonna be more digital. So we're gonna go with size 14 Rockwell. And I like how that is kind of placed there. So now I'm just gonna cover cover over that. I'm gonna highlight that letter. And then I'm gonna go up to text, whoops, text, insert, and then fields and page number. And that is, that is it. Look at that. That is special. There's my little hashtag or pound sign, you know, depending on when you're born, um, right inside my little egg there. And I'm just gonna copy that, go over to the other side here and paste that as well. Now, I did not create proper rules for that, so obviously those aren't gonna be looking so great. So we're just gonna bring this down and make sure that they are roughly the same, which they're not, but um, this is more for just showing you how to kind of put the page numbers in in general without making sure they're perfectly exact so far. You would wanna create rules so your page numbers are in the exact same spot on both pages which obviously would mean they're gonna be on the same page or same spot on all your pages. But we're gonna avoid that and we're just gonna go with the simple stuff. And uh, this is, we're gonna turn off preview mode. Preview mode will show, uh, or what is the opposite of preview mode? The, well, this is preview mode. This is normal mode, I don't know. This is the mode that shows your margins and your guides and everything. So turn that back on. And then as you'll notice, I can click on my pages here and the page numbers have magically, magically appeared. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, you know how to count. And if we go all the way to the bottom, we've got 16, 17. So you can kind of look at the numbers once you get into the double digits, <laughs> double digits and uh, potentially triple digits, depending on how long your document's gonna be and see how they actually fit. Um, now I think you can actually edit them if you double click on them, um, just in case there is, you know, maybe you have content um, that's going to be here specifically that is also going to be black and then you won't see the page number so you might want to make this white and you can actually do that you can go in and change it um, on individual individual pages as well which is really awesome and I've used uh, honestly a ton 
Um, but let's, let's zoom out here a bit. So you'll notice it doesn't look quite centered in there. So you might want to go back up here and make this a bit tinier. I can bring it, maybe bring it down to a point 12, maybe a 10, and then just put it right in here just so it has a little bit more room to kind of exist when we've got it in the double digits. And I'll just copy and paste that over here as well and bring that over there. So now you can see, let's go back onto preview mode. There's a little bit more room in there for the numbers that have double digits. We'll go down to 16 and 17. I think 17 is probably a bit too close to the edge there. But again, my bad, I didn't create the rules. And I'm not going to. Not this time anyway, maybe next time. So we've got our 60 and our 17, they look good. And all of our numbers are beautiful. And if we add any more pages, we go, no, not master, we go, we can add pages up here. We're gonna add, hmm, let's just add a, how many? Maybe, it's 44 is a nice number. No, 42, 42 is a good number. And okay it. And now if you'll notice, we've got all these new pages. And if we go right down to the bottom, we've got our page numbers all set up and beautiful for us and ready to go without us having to manually do, manually do the page numbers, which is just awesome, I think. It's a really great feature if you're doing a lot of work in Publisher, you're doing a lot of page layout stuff or anything where you require page numbers and you know that you yourself should not be trusted with manually numbering pages because inevitably you will make a mistake. It happens. Don't think it doesn't. All right, I think we're done. So that's page numbers. Yay. That's, I know it's not, it's not very exciting, but you know, it's, if you add like a little egg thingy, it can be so exciting. I promise this, this really makes things just super entertaining. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, let me know if there's anything else you guys want to know um, in Affinity, in Adobe, in all of the awesome programs. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.